مشاهدينا الكرام بنحب نرحب بكم مرة أخرى في برنامجكم علاجك في بيتك ومعنا الدكتور جويس النهاردة أهلا وسهلا بيكي Thank you so much for inviting me. I'm happy to be here. شكرا مبسوطين تكوني معنا راح تكلمينا عن عن إيه النهاردة Today we're going to talk about hydrotherapy and some people say what does that mean? So the hydro refers to water and the therapy is like a treatment. كيف نستخدم المية في العلاج؟ Well, there are three kinds of water that we use. We use the liquid, that is the water that we use every day to bathe. And then we have solid, which is ice. And then we have vapor or steam. And in these programs on hydrotherapy, we're going to be using all three of those, those kinds of water. طيب إيه هو تأثير المية على العلاج؟ Well, we use hot and cold water. And um, so they have different effects on the body. إزاي بيأثروا على الجسم؟ Okay, the, we use it because um, it moves the blood from one place to another. Mm. And we'll be teaching you how to do that. If a person is congested like the chest, we can move the, the, the blood to another place so it's not congested. And that's very helpful for many things. It increases our circulation and um, it brings oxygen and nutrients to parts of the body that are lacking. And this is very important for healing. It stimulates the immune system. You know, a person who is always getting a cold or getting the flu, it can really improve the immune system if it's used in a regular basis. And uh, it can, if a person has a temperature, it can help lower the temperature. It can increase the temperature for a person that's cold, and it removes toxins through sweating, uh, which is very helpful, especially if somebody is trying to get over smoking. It really helps mm -hmm. with that. And it promotes rest and relaxation, which we all need in this life of stress. It can ease pain as well, and um, the tissues, because of the circulation and bringing the oxygen, can actually help tissue heal. And so many more mm -hmm. things that we can't just go on and on about. <laughs> well, the cold water uh, increases, uh, decreases the blood flow. Let me talk about hot first, mm -hmm. because it increases the blood flow. It brings blood to the area, mm -hmm. and the cold chases it away. And so that's why we use both the hot and cold in a, in a treatment, because it, it's uh, efficacious to use both. And the hot increases the inflammatory process of bringing the blood and, and all the, um, to the tissue, whereas the cold sends that blood away and it decreases the inflammatory process. Mm -hmm. The hot will increase edema or water, whereas the cold will actually reduce swelling. So it's the opposite. And um, if you have any problem with hemorrhage, we don't want to use hot. And cold will actually help with the hemorrhage to uh, avoid it. Muscle pain and spasm, hot will help decrease those things where cold can actually make people, you know, have a pain and spasm in their um, muscle. But there are times when we use ice, where it can actually relieve the spasm. So mm -hmm. a cold can actually help with that as well. People with arthritis, they find that hot really helps the stiffness of their joints. So that's very, very good. And that's why in some of our treatments, we always end with the hot part of it. We don't use the cold part of it for people with arthritis because that, again, makes their joints stiff. So mm -hmm. there's, like I said, there's many ways to use the, the water and uh, and it has many effects that are positive. طيب نقدر ايه اللي نفتكره او حاجات مهمه نقدر نتذكرها واحنا بنعمل العلاجات دي في البيت؟ Well, in the house, um, we always want to remember that God is the one who heals. It's not this treatment or that treatment, and really it's not doctors and medicines. It's really God who heals, and we always want to remember that. So, I like to always pray with a person with whom I'm going to treat because mm -hmm. this is so important to ask God to help. Help us 
to be efficient in our treatment and help the person heal because we want to recognize it's not what we're doing that helps the person heal. It's always mm. God. I mean, so that's the first thing. And then we like to explain the treatment because when a person understands why we're doing something, they can accept it much better and cooperate with us as we're doing the treatment. So that's very important. Keeping the room warm, no matter if it's a hot treatment or a cold treatment, this is very important because we don't want any drafts through open windows or doors. So this is something we always have to think of first. A warm room without drafts. Also because there's sweating involved in many of these treatments, we want to make sure that the person is hydrated, has enough water, so we always give water, sometimes even during the treatment, make mm -hmm. sure that the person has water. Now when we use colds and we use cold towels, we don't want them to be dripping cold water on the person, so we wring them out very well before we apply the cold. It's uh, not nice to have cold dripping on you. <laughs> أكيد. طب إيه الحاجات اللي المفروض ناخد بالنا ما نعملهاش أثناء العلاج بالمية. So yes, there are many things that we need to be careful about, and so I'd really like to explain why it's so important. So, for instance, if we're using hot water, which many of our treatments will use hot water, we need to be careful for people who can't feel. For instance, if we used hot water for feet, people who are diabetic, uh, some elderly people, and some frail people don't have the sensitivity to know how hot that is for them. So we have to be extremely careful. It's best to use a, th a thermometer that we can actually check the, the temperature of the water because um, we can also put in our elbow, this part of our arm is sensitive to heat, so we can put that in and see how does it feel, is it too hot. And what we do for those people is start with a mild warm mm -hmm. and then gradually increase, increase, but n only to a certain temperature because they are not sensitive to heat. Mm -hmm. Most people, healthy people, can tell you, oh, that's too hot for me, and they'll take their feet out, and then you can adjust it, but um, you, you never put a person's feet in hot water without you testing it yourself. So that's extremely important to note. What else we... sorry. Well, for instance, we have people with certain diseases. Um, one of them I want to mention specifically is called multiple sclerosis. And this disease affects the, the, the way the muscles work because it's attacking the nerves. Mm -hmm. And in this disease, hot is very, too hot is very detrimental for somebody with multiple sclerosis. So we should never use hot, a hot treatment on people with multiple sclerosis because this makes their muscles weaker and they're already weak. So the cold treatments are more beneficial to, to people with multiple sclerosis. For instance, if somebody has a malignancy, uh, which is a cancer, we will always, always, always want to check with the doctor to see if any of these treatments can be helpful to them or harmful. We certainly don't want to cause harm to people and make their condition worse. Okay. So um, another thing that's good when we do treatments, especially if a person perspires or sweats, it's very important to have them rest afterwards because their body has already been um, exposed to a treatment and it's, uh, if, if they're ill, especially if they're sick, then that takes some energy. Mm -hmm. So to rest actually makes the treatment even more beneficial. So many times we have them rest for 20 or 30 minutes after a treatment because that really helps the treatment set in and help their body even more. Um. Well, another thing is, uh, sometimes we don't think of this, but when a person has just finished a meal, remember all the blood has gone to their internal organs to digest. So what we want to do then is wait 
uh, either do the treatment before a meal or wait uh, a few minutes so that like a half an hour or even an hour after the meal to okay. allow the food to digest a little bit before we start oh, wow. the, the treatment. <clears throat> Another thing is about infection, and this is very important, and I'd like to stress this, because some people have perhaps a, um, a wound or something, so we have to be careful, keep things clean, and if our treatment is skillfully done, the person will actually get better instead of worse. تحبي تقول لنا إيه أكتر عن العلاج بالمية؟ Well, I know that we've both used these treatments before, and so I'd like you to share some that you've actually done. I know you had a treatment for your sister, and so why didn't you share with us uh, how you went about that treatment, what, how you were careful with things, and what her results were? صحيح عملت قبل كده تجربة بال بالعلاج بالمية السخنة والبردة لأختي وكان يعني رجلها التوت في السلم وكان الألم كبير والإحمرار ابتدى يبقى موجود وورمت فكان الحل إنه لازم نعمل حاجة في البيت قبل الإعدادات الأكتر أو نروح للمستشفى أو كده أول حاجة جت على بالي المية السخنة والباردة وعملناها بس احتياطا إنه بس نحط الـ الـ يعني المية السخنة حسب احتمال الشخص اللي يقدر يتحمل لأنه في ناس تتحمل مية سخنة لدرجة أكتر من غيرها دي كانت أكتر شيء محتاجين ناخد بالنا منه و... وتاني حاجة أنه نكون مغطيين الشخص أو, أو مجففين كويس المية بعد ما نشتغل على العلاج بالمية السخنة ده كان يعني اختبار عملي فعلا وشفنا قد إيه العلاج أثر بالإيجاب معها Now for the first part did you, you try cold before you tried the hot and cold? بالبداية حطينا مية باردة كان تلج وبس مشينا على الرجل لأنه ما تتحمل فترة طويلة القدم مية باردة أو أو تلج بس سريعا حطيناها في مية سخنة وجربناها الأول ب ب ب بالكوع وشوفنا إنه نقدر نعمل التوازن أو المية حسب ما تقدر تتحمل وكانت النتيجة ممتازة Many times injuries, the first uh, 24 hours and even 48 hours, depending on the, the, how bad the injury is, you want to use cold. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. <clears throat> But after that, the hot and cold is very good. في كمان أشخاص بيحبوا إنه ينتهوا مع المية الدافية لأنه عندهم مشاكل بالعظم ما يقدروش يتحملوا النهاية بالمية الساعة بيبقى أفضل نهاية بالمية سخنة فدي كمان نقطة ممكن ناخد بالنا منها لما نكون بنعمل يعني العلاج بالمية لحد بيبرد بسرعة أو بتصيبه قشعريرة بسرعة فنقدر ننتهي بالمية السخنة Now we did a treatment for your mother Yeah, Why did you tell us about that? كمان عمل دكتور جويس عملت لنا العلاج بالمية لوالدتي وكان سريع إنه البس البخار بالتباين مع المية الساعة والبخار الساخن بيحسن من أداء الرئتين وبيخلي الأمراض المزمنة كمان تكون في حالة أفضل ولكن حتى دور البرد العادي عمل نتيجة كويسة العلاج بالمية معنا. I know also there was uh, someone with very poor uh, immune system. They were always getting sick and uh, they were always getting the flu. And there was a steam treatment, I believe, that was given to them. You were involved in that. Mm -hmm. So tell me, tell us about that. Uh, كانت يعني عندي صديقة كانت بتشتكي كتير وتمرض كتير. وكان يمكن ما بين الفقره وال يعني المرض وانها تشفى فترات قصيره جدا وترجع تمرض سريعا تاني فكانت مناعتها ضعيفه فجربنا العلاج بالبخار مره وكانت نتيجته كتير اسرع مما نتخيل وابتدت تتحسن وابتدت فترات اللي بتمرض فيها اقل كتير ومتباعده اكتر من الاول 
ودي كانت حاجة فعلا فعالة وحقيقية قدامنا Mm-hmm. And you use steam, is that correct? Exactly. Okay. اشتغلنا مع البخار. Okay. And so that's another way to to use water. Um, were there any other like uh, somebody with a sore knee or arthritic knee? You also had experience with that. صحيح كان في والدة صديقتي هي كانت بتشتكي دائما من ركبها بت بتوجعها ومش بتقدر تطلع سلم. جربنا التريتمنت بالميه السخنه والبخار وحطينا ميه ساقعه او بخار من الميه الساقعه على ركب بالتباين وكانت النتيجه كمان فعاله بالعلاج بالميه او البخار بالطريقه دي and i have an experience too that a lot of ladies will understand a young lady she was visiting us from another country And uh, she was right in that time of the month that women have, and she was having the cramps and she was feeling a bit miserable. So she, <clears throat> excuse me, so she asked me for some medication. Well, I rarely use medication, so it's not around my house <laughs> and it wasn't convenient to go to the pharmacy. So I said, well, let's try this. So we put her feet in a tub of hot water. Mm-hmm hot as she could stand but not burning we have to be careful and then uh, what worked for her was to put a cool um, not exactly ice but something very cool on her abdomen where she was having the cramps and what happened was this relieved congestion remember we talked about how Mm -hmm. the hot and cold relieves congestion so she was congested here and that was causing the the pain and the cramping And so we were drawing blood from that area, pushing it away with a cold. Remember, cold pushes the blood away. Mm-hmm. And the feet with the hot water was drawing the blood toward the, the feet. Mm-hmm. So she was very skeptical. She didn't think this would work. She wanted medication. So I said, well, just try it. And so as we tried it, it she found out in about 15 minutes, she mm-hmm. felt better. And I, most medications don't work that fast. Test. So this is this is uh, faster than medication and working and and no side effects only good ones and um, so this is something anybody can use at home. I know another lady she doesn't go to all the trouble of having a a, a basin. She just goes to the bathtub if you have a tub and even a shower will work and you spray your feet with with warm water. You can have something cool here and um, in a few minutes. You feel better and you can repeat this. Mm -hmm. You can repeat this as many times as you need. So that is is really something that's very practical for young women. Yeah. (laughs) It's true. The water is a great thing. And subhanAllah, it created us a treatment. And at the same time, we can't live without it. And also, the treatment for the treatment for the treatment is very easy. ونقدر نستخدمها في البيت زي ما حضرتك شرحت لنا ممكن بس في في الحمام نقدر نحط رجلينا في ميه دافيه وبس على المكان اللي بيقلمنا نقدر نحط شيء بارد او 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 ثلج اذا بنقدر نتحمله وده هيساعد في في تحسين الاداء الوظيفي لجسمنا ف ده حقيقي بنشكر كتير المعلومات القيمه اللي حضرتك بتقوليها لنا في في البرنامج ونتمنى ان الناس تجربها كمان وتشوف قد ايه هي فعاله ومفيده Um, <clears throat> since I'm also a massage therapist, I have a, a device that I can put on the massage bed to give steam to people. Mm-hmm. And one time we had another visitor and he uh, had really bad flu and was so miserable. He had aching joints and fever. Now, mm-hmm. we're going to talk about fever a little bit more in another program, but sometimes we're afraid of fever. When there's fever, it's like, oh, we have to get it down right away. No, you want to keep it from getting too high. But this is your body's defense system working against those bacteria or viruses that, that your body's fighting. So fever is your friend if it doesn't get too, far, too high. So sometimes raising the temperature of the body helps it fight the virus. So he was having the flu and these joint pains. So my husband and I um, put him on the table with this tent. Mm-hmm. Uh, we added steam to the tent. It's specific for that, so it's very convenient. And he said, oh, this feels so good. And as the heat penetrated around his body, the joint pain went away. 
Mm. And he just felt so calm and so restful and, and with no pain, you can imagine. So, and, and this would actually help somebody with um, uh, rheumatoid arthritis mm. because um, their joints are very painful and heat seems to help them a lot. So the steam, getting warm, all of these things are very beneficial uh, for people with rheumatoid arthritis and also in this case of the flu. And so we had very good results with that. And um, so praise God that he's given us these, these methods I mean, that um, medication helps a little bit, <clears throat> but not as good as, as uh, some of the things that God has given us to use. I mean, <coughs> excuse me. طيب نقدر نعرف ايه اكتر عن التحذيرات في العلاج بالميه ايه الـ 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 يعني الخواطر او المخاطر اللي ممكن نقابلها في استخدامنا للعلاج بالميه for instance take the the thing i just talked about the steam um, i monitor the temperature inside the tent so that i know that it's not getting too warm for the person now if we do a simple one um, we, we take the, the word of the person to keep them hydrated. That's very mm -hmm. important. So as soon as the steam, you know, we, for this young man who had the flu, we just used about 15 minutes and that was sufficient. Mm -hmm. And afterwards, of course, we had him drink a lot of water and rest. Rest is very important. Mm -hmm. And Naveen, what do you think about giving our audience uh, an assignment? Shall we give them an assignment? Yeah, we should do that. Okay, so that they can feel the results of this kind of thing themselves. So the assignment would be a shower. Mm -hmm. So when they take their shower, get nice and warm in the shower. Just really warm so that you just feel cozy and warm and every part of your body is warm. And then you want to take the cold, turn it all the way to cold and spray your body with cold. Now, how do you do this? You start with your legs. You start with cold on your legs, then shower on your arms, then on the chest and face, and then you turn your back to the spigot and get the cold on your back. About 30 seconds only. Now, if you want to do it three times, that's fine. I, in the morning, I, I do the hot and then I do the cold and I'm out and awake. And so I usually just do it once unless I'm sick. But this is something that uh, everybody can do. So let's... Uh, Let's have them try and see how they feel. صحيح ال الشاور الدافي وبعدين بنفاج بمية بردة كتير فعال أنا عن نفسي جربته وكنت خايفة في البداية من المية الساقعة بعد المية الدافية لأنه خلاص الواحد بيكون دافيان وفرحان بال بال بالدافة وفجأة تعمل شوك كده لل للجسم بس كتير فعال بعد المية الساقعة الغريب إنه إحنا بنكون دافيانين أكتر. من قبل الشاور كمان That's right. I feel that way too. دي كتير بتفيدنا انه ندفي حالنا لو في وقت الشتاء او لو عندنا برد So I think if uh, the people in our audience try this every morning or at least try it tomorrow morning or whenever you take your shower mm -hmm. I think they're going to realize that wow when I get out of the shower I'm actually warmer and I feel more alive mm -hmm. I don't even need my cup of coffee I'm awake <laughs> <laughs> so I'd really like to to know how they do with that شكرا دكتور جويس مرة تانية على المعلومات القيمة اللي حضرتك بتديها لنا ونتمنى نعرف أكثر عن العلاجات الطبيعية في الحلقات القادمة إن شاء الله مشاهدينا الأعزاء بنحب نشكركم على متابعتكم للبرنامج وما تنسوش ترسلونا على الإيميل اللي ظاهر قدامكم على الشاشة وإن شاء الله في حلقات قادمة نقدر نقول أكتر عن العلاج بالمية وعلاجات بأشياء طبيعية أخرى